South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello and welcome once again to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We continue the first round of our varsity tournament today. We've got E.D. White Catholic taking on Hanson Memorial Schools. Good luck to both teams. Let's get into a rapid fire round and we just got some potpourri for you here. Questions about could be anything. Good luck. Arthur Dimsdale and Hester Prine are in what? Hot Max? Scarlet Letter. That's right. Who is said to have spread his cloak over a mud puddle for Queen Elizabeth I? Max. Shakespeare? Uh, no, Sir Walter Raleigh. It's the colorful nickname of the Army Special Forces from the hat they wear. Max. Green Beret. That's right. What other city completely surrounds the Vatican City? Paul. Rome. Correct. What war is the setting for the novel and movie Cold Mountain? Luke. The American Civil War. That's right. What is the name of Ozzy Osbourne's wife? Max. Sharon. That's right. What is the proper astronomical name for the dog star? Max. Serious. It is serious. What is the percentage increase from 1,200 to 1,500? Luke. 25%. That's right. In what Joseph Conrad novel does Mr. Kurtz die? Uh, Max. Heart of Darkness. Correct. Montezuma II was the last emperor of what new world, Luke? Max. Uh, correct. In what abbey? I think for Westminster Abbey there, that is the end of the round. All right, let's take a moment, let the players introduce themselves. We'll start with Hanson. Uh, my name is Sammy Mai. I'm a junior this year. This is my fifth year in Quiz Bowl. Uh, in Quiz Bowl, I like to walk my dog and play games. My name's Madeline. This is my second year on Quiz Bowl. And other than Quiz Bowl, I run track, play basketball, and play volleyball. My name's Amelia. I'm in 10th grade. This is my second year on Quiz Bowl. And other than that, I do beta club, volleyball, and softball. Hi, I'm Maddie Jadis, and I am a freshman. This is my first year on Quiz Bowl, and I'm a part of the Student Council and Beta Club. All right, Madeline is the team captain. Tell us about Hanson. Hanson Memorial High School is a Roman Catholic school dedicated to academic excellence and the formation of a Christ-centered individual equipped to use the gifts of soul, mind, body, and, and positive contributions to church, family, and society. We would like to thank Mr. Chris Hunter and the entire staff at KWBJ for hosting South Louisiana Quiz Bowl, our principal, Ms. Connie Daigle, for allowing our team to participate, and our sponsor, Ms. Sandy Adams. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Ms. Sandra Adams. Let's welcome back Hanson Memorial School. <laughs> right, your for Edie White. My name is Paul Toops. This is my fourth year in Quiz Bowl, and other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in Key Club. Uh, my name is Max Trosclair. I'm a junior, and this is my fourth year in Quiz Bowl as well. And other than Quiz Bowl, I'm a officer of the E.D. White Key Club, and I'm also in track and field. My name is Luke Gomer. I am a freshman, and other than Quiz Bowl, I like to do band. My name is Carson Sheremy. I'm a junior. This is my second year in Quiz Bowl. And other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in band also. All right, let's hear more about Edie White from Team Captain Max Strassler. Edward Douglas White Catholic High School is located in Thibodeau, Louisiana and houses grades eight through 12. We have a college preparatory system and a wide range of extracurricular activities that are designed to promote academic excellence, impart the Catholic faith, and enhance self-esteem. We would like to graciously thank KWBJ and its sponsors for hosting this academic tournament. Thank you, Max. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Mr. Craig Foray. Let's welcome back E.D. White Catholic. <laughs> All right, we come now to the toss-up bonus <coughs> round. Start you with a two-point toss-up. This range of the Blue Ridge is named after the mist or haze that usually surrounds them. Uh, Max. Smoky Mountains. Great Smoky Mountains, that is correct. Bonus question for E.D. White. I want you to finish the quotation. George Washington said, to be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving what? Peace. Correct. Ogden Nash, to keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right. Stick with it. No, sorry. Answer. 
Do we have to buzz in? Uh, no. Oh. Admit it. Uh, no, whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> Edie White, Byron asked, think you if Lauren had been blank's wife, he would have written sonnets all his life? Elizabeth? Sorry, now. Hanson? Speaking of Petrarch, uh, two points for Edie White on that. And we'll go to a two-point toss-up. In this Jack London story, a man and his dog are walking up, uh, Paul? White Fang? Uh, no, sorry. A man and his dog are walking up Paul Creek to meet up with his party. The man cannot keep himself warm and freezes. The dog continues to camp. Name the story. Anyone? It is to build a fire. Two point toss up. This is the crime of willfully and maliciously setting fire to a building or other prop. Uh, Max? Arson. That's correct. Bonus question to Edie White. Let's deal with Southeast Asia here. What Indonesian island exploded in 1883, killing thousands of people? Krakatoa. That's correct. The easternmost point in Southeast Asia is considered to be on this island, the second largest in the world. Answer? Papua New Guinea. That's correct. And more than 20% of the people in, in Southeast Asia live on this island. Java. It is Java. You got all three for six points. And here's a two point toss up. Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. Name the automobile manufacturer who said this, who also paid his factory workers $5. Paul? Henry Ford. That's correct. Bonus question to Edie White. Islands of the Caribbean is the category. Nassau is on the island of New Providence in what country? The Bahamas. That's correct. Bridgetown is this island's largest city. Jamaica. That's incorrect. Answer. Uh, no, it's Barbados. Edie White, it is also known as the Island of Spice. Hispaniola. That's incorrect. Hanson? Jamaica? Uh, no, it's Grenada. Two points for Edie White. Let's go to a two point toss up. On January 25th, 1898, this ship was docked in Hub. Uh, Maine. Luke? The Maine. USS Maine. And for Edie White, I want you to name the president who said the following. I brought myself down. I impeached myself by resigning. Nixon. 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 That's correct. How can a president not be an actor? Reagan. Reagan. That's right. And I may not have been the greatest president, but I've had the most fun for eight years. Clinton? Bill Clinton. <laughs> and all three, six points. There's a two point toss up. In 1520, Ferdinand Magellan named this group of islands off the southern tip of South America. They are named for the fires Magellan saw on the shores. Falklands? Uh, that's incorrect. Hanson? Sorry, you can't, can't discuss. It is Tierra del Fuego. Two point toss up. The title animal in this William Blake poem is described as burning bright in the forests of the night. It is also described as having fearful symmetry. Anyone? It is the tiger. Two point toss up. Boreal forest, deciduous forest, tropical rainforest. Which of these is also called a tega forest? Max. Boreal. That's right. Bonus for Edie White. Starts with G. The mass of a cubic centimeter of water at 40 degrees Celsius is one definition of what measure of mass? Graham. That's right. Phonology, syntax, semantics, and morphology are all components of what area of study? Grammar. That's right. And Captain Kidd is said to have buried part of his treasure on what island off the eastern end of Long Island? Pass. Hanson? Rhode Island. I know it's Gardner's Island. Four points for Edie White. Here's a two point toss up. You can have brilliant ideas, but if you can't get them across, your ideas won't get you anywhere. 
The man who said that was once president of Ford Motor Company and later became chairman of Chrysler Corporation. Who is he? Anyone? That was Lee Iacocca. And that is the end of the round. Let's Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We have two new players coming into the game for Hanson. Let's meet them now. I'm Nathan Curry, and I go to Hanson Memorial, and I do football. My name's Emily Fauche, and I'm a freshman, and other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in softball and volleyball. All right, welcome to you both. Edie White leading Hanson as we continue on. Here are some two-point toss-ups for you. One character by this name appears as the king of Corinth in Medea, named as brother of Jocasta, who is better well known as the king of Thebes in Antigone. Max. Minos. Incorrect. Hanson. That was Creon. He led American troops at the battles of Germantown and Brandywine and led a daring and successful storming of Stony Point. Name this American military leader whose famous nickname refers to his heated demeanor at battles such as Fallen Timbers. Anyone? That was Mad Anthony Wayne. This vitamin assists the body in synthesizing collagen in connected tissue and neurotransmitters. Uh, Max. Vitamin D. Uh, incorrect. And according to Linus, Pauling also fights the common cold. Name this water, uh, no, hands it only. Uh, name this water soluble vitamin whose severe deficiency causes scurvy. Naked. Vitamin C. That's right. The title character of this opera commits Harry Carey when she loses the, op the object of her affection, Captain Pinkerton. Name this opera by Puccini featuring a young Japanese geisha's love for an American naval officer. Max. Madame Butterfly. That is correct. The narrator of this novel, Jack Burden, is forced to confront the problem of good and evil in the career of Southern demagogue Willie Stark, who is modeled on Huey Long. Name this 1946 novel by Robert Penn Warren. That was All the King's Men. That is the end of the round. Edie White still leading as we come to our 60 second rounds. Hanson, you have first choice of categories. You can have inventions. Jeopardy exam, 10 letter words, or presidential trivia? Ten. 10 letter words. 10 letter words, okay. That's pretty self explanatory. 60 on the clock. Good luck. The institution and practice of examining printed material for objectionable mat matter. Pass. Imaginary or invented, as in literature. A proposed law put up to the voters for approval. Pass. To scatter or divide among several, as with leaflets or food. Dis distribute. That's right. An aircraft whose flight is supported by a rotor turning about a vertical axis. An official who carries out the functions of a government. Pass. To grasp the meaning of. Withhold. That's incorrect. You got one right for two points. E.D. White gets the others. The institution and practice of examining printed material for objectionable matter. Censorship. That's right. Imaginary or invented, as in literature. Fictional. Uh, no, fictitious. A proposed law put up to the voters for approval. Referendum. That's right. To scatter or divide among several, as with, um, I'm sorry, they got that one correct. An aircraft whose flight is supported by a rotor turning about a vertical axis. Helicopter. That's right. An official who carries out the functions of a government. Politician. Mm. Politician. Uh, no, bureaucrat. To grasp the meaning of. Understand. Understand. That's correct. You got four right for eight points. All right, your category now, E.D. White, is will it be inventions, Jeopardy exam, or presidential trivia? We'll do presidential trivia. All right. We have 60 on the clock. Good luck. Who was the first president who was not born a subject of the British Empire? Van Buren. Van Buren. That's incorrect. Who was the only bachelor president? Buchanan. That's right. Name the oldest man elected president. Joe Biden? Uh, incorrect. K 
Kennedy was the youngest elected president, but what vice president who succeeded to the office when his president died was younger than Kennedy? Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. 26 presidents have shared what career occupation? Lawyer. Lawyer. That's right. Name the only president to never be elected president or vice president by the people. Gerald Ford. That's right. Abraham Lincoln, <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln was our tallest president. Who was the shortest? Monroe. Incorrect. Within two, how many presidents reached the rank of general in the army? Three. That's incorrect. You got four right for eight points. Give the others to Hanson. Who was the first president who was not born a subject of the British Empire? Uh, no, it was Millard Fillmore. Named the oldest man elected president. Donald Trump. Uh, no, Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. And within two, how many presidents reached the rank of general in the army? Seven. Answer? Seven. Uh, no, there were 12. No points for that. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Here's a new player coming into the game for Hanson. Hi, I'm Shaylin, and besides Quiz Bowl, I do cheer, volleyball, and track and field. All right, welcome to the game. Edie White in the lead. Final round is two point toss up questions. Good luck. Egypt and Syria surprised Israel by launching an attack during Ramadan in this short conflict in which Israel captured the. Uh, Six day war. Uh, no, sorry. Named this 1973 war named for the holiday on which it started. Ramadan war? Nathan. The Ramadan war? Uh, no, the Yom Kippur war. Unlike the natural object to which this abstract construct is compared in diagrams, the root is usually drawn at the top. Utilized in its binary form for quick searches, name this data structure containing parent and child nodes and leaves. Paul. Tree. That's right. This humanistic psychologist published the books of motivation and personality and toward a psychology of being in which he introduced his theory of self-actualization. Name this American psychologist who is more famous for his hierarchy of needs. Paul. Maslow. That's right. His essay, Pornography and Obscenity, is ironic since many of his novels were banned for such reasons. Name this 20th century British novelist of Sons and Lovers and Lady Chatterley's Lover. That was David Herbert Lawrence, D.H. Lawrence. He built a strong chemistry department at Berkeley and did research in electrochemistry and free energy, but he's best known for the subject of his book, Valence and the Structure of Atoms and Molecules, named this chemist known for his dot structures and as uh, Max Lewis. That's right, Gilbert Lewis. His four-part set of The Voyage of Life is in the National Gallery, named for making known for making sketches in the Catskills, named as founder of the Hudson River School, whose more famous works include The Course of Empire and The Oxbow. That was Thomas Cole. This country is approximately 2.7 million square kilometers in area, just under one quarter the area of Texas. It is bordered by, to the south by Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan. Name this, uh, Paul. Kazakhstan. That's correct. He, it's an antiquated sailor, and he impeded a man in trio. This is a paraphrase of the first two lines of what epic poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge? Max. Kublai Khan. Sorry, no. Hanson. It is the rhyme of the ancient mariner. This British starlet suffered from mental illness that resulted in her divorce from Laurence Olivier and eventual suicide. Name this actress who played the temperamental Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind. Max. Vivian Lee. That's right. Edward VIII and Philip VI led the English and French armies respectively at this important engagement of the Hundred Years' War. Grossi. 
Uh, that is correct, Luke. Written in 1893, it, it works by sending ICMP packets to the target host and waiting for replies. Named this simple network command used to test whether a host can be reached from the testing computer, whose name is an analogy to sonar. Anyone? It is a ping. Forced to work in a shoe polish factory as a child, many of his novels are largely, are largely autobiographical. In 1836, he married Catherine Hogarth and wrote his first novel, The Pickwick Papers. Identif uh, Max Dickens? That's correct. Shortly before the American Revolution, he was put in charge of a small militia force. Following the American withdrawal from South Carolina, he remained and carried out surprise attacks against the British. Named this Revolutionary War general, nicknamed the Swamp Fox. Uh, Luke. Nathaniel Green. That's incorrect. Hanson. It was Francis Marion. Although drawing the ire of environmentalist and social activist, this massive undertaking will reduce the severity of annual floods in southern China and generate 18 gigawatts of electricity. Identify this large dam currently being construction, constructed on the Yangtze River. It is the Three Gorges Dam, and that is the end of the game. Edie White is our winner, and they advance to the second round. Hanson will go over to the elimination bracket. Both teams will be back again in a few weeks. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Good night.